Okay, part two of the swage block build. So, um, the last video, I cleaned up all the edges on the swage block and then uh, and I was halfway through making a stand for it. So, uh, here's the stand and it's actually a bit of a dual purpose thing so I can actually have them standing on their edge which is why things are for like the radius and the, the squares and the uh, triangles and things and then I can lift it out and then I have all the squares and ovals and rounds in the middle there that I can use as well. Now as you can see the uh, it does rock a bit but uh, once I get the, the legs trimmed up a bit it'll be, be fine. So how have I made it? Alright, let's just lift this out the road and we'll have a looky. So basically what I've done is I've used some fairly heavy duty 50mm or 2 inch angle iron around the top to hold the frame a couple of down tubes there the support brace across the side just across here one across the middle here and to stop the legs from spreading when I'm bashing the living daylights out of it a bit more of a brace there um, my world's leave, leave a lot to be desired but um, I think it's time for a bit of a a service on the world or anyway so uh, at the moment this is the way she sits um, do I need something to lift and turn the swage block this one's nowhere near as heavy as the old ones um, so I don't see the need for it so I can lift it by hand I can turn it by hand as the previous video showed a uh, previous part of the, this video showed you one of the other things I was doing while I had the welder out was um, making some modifications to my welding table so I made this welding table a little while back and um, um, it's been great so far, but uh, there's been a couple of things that I really wanted to do with it and uh, I thought it's time to do that. So let's have a look and see what I've done. Okay, so this is the welding table. It's a um, solid steel, eight millimeter thick bench top um, with a series of 100, and, 100 mil slats and uh, 40 mil slats, I think, from memory. Yep, 40 mil. Okay, so we got 100 and then the 40 mil gap. The reason we got the gap there is so I can get my clamps in there to hold metal in place. And that was that was the first first thing. I mean, the other thing I did was actually put a couple of made it so I could fit a couple of old um, filing cabinets underneath so I can keep on my safety gear, my extension leads, a um, bit of grinding gear, and all my welding stuff all in one location. Okay, that's all well and good. But what happens if I want to weld something up to square? So what I've done is I've created this rail. Now I kind of stuffed up when I did it because... Well actually it probably didn't stuff up because I just turned around the other way. That's a good idea. Okay, maybe I didn't stuff up at all. Um, but basically what I do is I put that in there, give it a whack with a hammer to knock it in place, and I've got a, a bolt-on rail on the side here, so that when it's all in place, it... Uh, it's quite firm and stable, so I'll just give that a thump while it's off the camera. Okay, so I've got it in place now, and it's all, all sitting in there nicely. And how square is it? It's um, pretty spot on. So now if I need to weld something square, I can actually take these slats out here, clamp it in place, and away we go. Very good. Now, uh, a couple of other things while I've got it on there, and I'm looking at the bench. Um, people talk about uh, is um, spatter guard any any good spatter spray or anti spatter spray for uh, MIG welding? Um, I would highly recommend it if you're using gasless MIG. Um, actually, I'd recommend it for any MIG because you do get spatter spatter. And to show you how good this, you can see that half of this bench has been sprayed and the other half hasn't. The half that hasn't has. Lots of little spatter that doesn't want to come out. All right, whereas this side here, it just wipes straight off. Very, very good. And the other thing too is uh, the uh, if you look at the old stand there, you'll see that the legs are at an angle, and you'll see that this actually has an angle set up. So I can actually set the angle when I'm welding. Um, and 
I get to get that extra bit of an angle out and it stays uniform on all, all sides. All right. So that's about all for today. Um, uh, this is this YouTube channel that I'm building is, is still fairly new. I haven't done any introductions like some of the other ones that you see out there at the moment. So it's straight in guts and all. Um, but I'll get around to doing that when I find time in my limited day um, to organise and uh, things will start to get to look a little bit more professional. Um, the next thing I've got to do is convince uh, my darling wife that she needs to put some videos on there as well about her glasswork because uh, don't tell her I said this, but she's actually a brilliant artist as far as uh, uh, some of her glasswork is concerned. And um, I'm really looking forward to sharing her, uh, her expertise with you guys. All right. So uh, stay tuned and we'll see you next time around. Bye.